Okay, so I've got the electrical panel apart. This is a Hayward Aqualogic uh, control system. It's an eight function. Um, so I don't recommend that you mess with this part. Probably have an electrician do it, unless of course you're an electrician. And then I'm gonna explain what I've done. Okay, so this is the filter pump relay. What we're doing is we're removing the wires off the load side, off the load side of the filter pump relay and we're attaching them to the breaker so the pump is hot all the time and the way to find out what goes to what is this let's look under here and follow these so we know that the one that goes to the pump is this this one here and so what we're going to do is we're going to attach those wires directly to a breaker um, and like i said if you don't understand how to do that i recommend you have an electrician do it um, make sure before you do anything you turn all your breakers off so you're not dealing with any hot wires in here because it can be very dangerous okay our next step is we need to hook this low voltage control wire to the pump motor itself so uh, this just plugs in right to here it only goes in one way and it'll slide right in and you just twist that lock nut on there and it's as simple as that there's no uh, using a screwdriver or anything and what I'm gonna do is we're gonna follow this wire along um, over here I'm gonna put it behind everything and I'm gonna run it up into this box and then um, then I'll show you the next step after I finish with that okay so our next step is to install the Intellicom 2 um, I'll put a link in the description of where you can purchase this um, but what we're gonna do right now is I'm gonna open it up and we're just gonna see what, what comes in here. so we have um, so these are connector wires it goes with a it's, this is a black little Com port, four wire com port thing. These are going to be jumpers that go um, plug into where normally a relay would plug into. Get a little instruction manual. You get uh, this is an adapter. If you have um, if you have an older Pentair controller, I believe, where um, the com port is actually an RJ12. And when that's the communication wire that runs your um, uh, remote control, this is what you would plug it into. And then you would plug your remote control back into this. And this would power your um, your telecom. This particular board, we don't need to use this. Um, but you do use it for some of the older Pentair um, controllers. And uh, for the Jandy, it would be the same as this. So, so the two most common ones you're going to deal with is the Hayward. Uh, Aqualogic and the uh, Jandy RS system and almost identical to hook them up a little bit different with the relays But the relays are look the same if you were to hold the relays up next to each other. They would be identical So the next thing in the box Is the actual telecom And it tells you exactly what each of these ports are each one of these uh, represents a speed and so, you know, you'll have speed one, speed two, speed three, and speed four. And this is your COM port, your communication port. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to put this in, in here, and then, um, and then I will show you how to hook it up. Okay, so with your Intellicom, comes with a little booklet. You're going to want to hold on to that because um, every control panel is going to be a little different. So we're doing the Hayward, so it's going to explain to you which are the hot wires that you need to run to your Intellicom controller. So this one's going to tell us that we run the one that's labeled red over to uh, the Intellicom one that's labeled red and vice versa. Also the, the green one will go to the Intellicom one that's black. Oh, this is on the Hayward one. Now if I flip back to the Jandy one, it's basically the same thing. Um, the green term, uh, terminals on the Jandy is going to go back to the black and the red terminal is going to go back on the red. So they're, they're pretty similar, but you make sure that you uh, follow the directions uh, that come in here first. So right now what I have is I've, I have the outside two hooked up. Um, so if you were to read, if you were to read this, um, this is like this. So the red, the one that's the red power one is attached up here to the one that's labeled red in the, inside of the board. And then the one that's labeled green is the green wire. And I have it coming down to the one that's labeled black or ground. And so that's, that's, 
that's that part. The next part is we need to hook up the two wires that come to the pump to the two uh, to the two middle wires here. Now on this you're going to need a small screwdriver uh, to fit these little uh, screwdrivers. If you get a regular screwdriver it's not going to fit in there. It's got to be a very small one. And then we're also going to have a green and a yellow wire in here and those two are going to uh, terminate onto this COM port right here. So I'm going to do that and then um, we'll go over the next step. Okay, on the Hayward, you're going to have to remove the um, this metal bar. And also on the Hayward, um, on these aren't going to plug in where where the wires feed the relays. So these are a little different than the Jandy. The Jandy, you just plug this in on one side, plug it in on the other side, and you're done. This one, we're going to have to. Um, land this wire on the top of the relay um, exactly as the wire that's currently there black and red and so um, we're gonna have to determine which relays we want to use to run our speeds and then a uh, filter pump has to be one of them and then um, we have three more empty relays so each one of these I'm going to cut this and I'm going to uh, splice it onto the top of each of the relays and then uh, I'm going to do that right now and uh, um, that way you'll be able to see how it works Okay, so now that we've got everything hooked up, um, really the final step is to plug the COM port in. Okay, we need to determine which speeds we want on which function. So we're going to do, obviously, number one is going to be the filter pump. That's going to plug in there. And then this is auxiliary uh, four, five, six, I think, or, or five. Yeah, five, six, and seven. So. Um, we're just going to go one at a time, plug each one of these in. Okay, and then all we have to do now is we'll mount this to the inside of here. Um, it comes with double-sided tape, so you just uh, peel the tape off of there, stick it on the back of here, stick it in there, and then we're good to go. Okay, so I got it mounted in there with the double-sided tape, but that's not the most beautiful thing in the world, but I've got it um, pushed in there so all the wires are pushed back, and uh, so we're not going to close anything in the door when we get it put back. And then um, I'll get it uh, turned on in a minute, and we'll uh, figure out um, how to set it up. Okay, so now we've put some water in here. We have to put some water in the basket. It's never had water in it, and it needs it to prime up. Um, over here, we hit start the start-stop button. So this is uh, lit up and it says running schedule. Um, the next thing we do is we should be able to hit uh, any of the buttons that have a relay that we're attached to and it should come on uh, whatever speed it's set for for that number. So I'm gonna hit filter pump, that's hooked to number one. Okay, so now if we want to change the speed from 3450 for, for the filter pump speed, uh, we can turn it down by, this is, this is running program one. Two thousand RPMs. We're gonna hit save. We're gonna get to that speed. We're gonna hit save now. Now from now on, program number one 
is 2,000 RPMs. Okay, now for program number two, it's set for 1,500 RPMs. And if I want to make that higher, we just hit the up arrow. Let's say I want that to run at 2600 RPMs. We just hit the save button. And uh, sometimes you gotta be careful. Twenty six hundred and save, twenty six oh five. So we're gonna save it for twenty six hundred RPMs, and that's running program number two. I'm gonna come over here and hit the next uh, turn this one off and hit the next relay speed, which looks like it's set for eighteen hundred RPMs. Okay, now that it's stopped priming, we're running program number three at 2350. Uh, and but I, I may turn that up. I may turn that up to uh, 3,000 or something. Let's turn it to 3,000. And now, from now on, program number three is 3,000. Okay, so program number four is on. And we want, maybe, we want that to be 3,450 all the way up. And then we can save that. But it's up to you what speed you want for which, uh, which relay. But you have up to four. You don't have to use all of them if you don't want to. And uh, now that we're all set up, um, it's gonna, I can schedule everything at the control panel. I don't have to schedule anything here. We can shut this. And now I can, I can set whatever I want on the schedule, and it's going to run on the schedule that I turned for. And, uh, and then that's it. And um, I'll leave some links in the bottom of the page so you guys can uh, see where, I, uh, where you can buy most of the stuff, some of the brands uh, that I'm using. Uh, and then if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the comment box. Uh, have a good day and thanks for watching.